friends how are you um i've decided that i'm only gonna do monthly vlogs from now on because editing these videos makes me want to pole dance my way down to hell so let's talk about july what did i even do this whole month ooh, ooh. <laughs> I've been trying to work on this video where I journal for the first time ever and I do it for seven days straight and I can't do it. Um, I haven't ever journaled in my life before. Um, I don't, I've never had a, a journal. Well, I've had many journals. I've just never written in them. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. It's been over a month. I think I started in late June and it's almost the end of july and like i can't i can't journal for seven days straight it's a disaster i could have just like lied about it at this point and like put on like seven different shirts and pretended like i did it for seven days straight but i will know even if you won't know you know i'm sticking to my convictions or whatever they're called i've also been doing a lot of drawing <laughs> i mean obviously i have my tattoos here and of course I started off with just wanting to do like a little cherry and then my too much jean got the best of me and so then I did a little flower thing over here and then I decided I was gonna do some vines <laughs> on my ring finger. It's as close to being married as I'm gonna get, you know what I mean? And then I did a little smiley face and you can't even really see it. And then I did a little thing of eucalyptus over here. So she tatted and she bathed. Aside from drawing on myself though, I've been doing a lot of pencil drawings, which is really out of character for me because I've never really enjoyed pencils. But I've been trying to fill this sketchbook up and the paper on it really, really sucks. The only thing that it really takes is like soft pencils. And so that's just what I've been doing. And I made a video of another fill your sketchbook video that nobody asked for. Um, and here's a lot of the drawings that I included in that video. You can go watch it if you want to. I mean something I didn't include in that um, video that I probably should have is that I've been doing some Ghibli drawings lately where you watch a Ghibli movie and then you pause it at a scene that really like speaks to you or you want to draw and you sketch it out right then and there. just made me like warm and fuzzy you know it was just it was great speaking of pencils uh, I've been sketching with them a lot because I found a random box of like half empty Prismacolor scholars and I actually like those pencils so much that I ended up placing an Amazon order to get the full set of I think 36 there is 60 not 36 there are 60 of them in here so I've just been going to ham going to town going to the park <laughs> but of course since i was ordering from amazon i also had to order more things so if you're really into amazon hauls please enjoy because i also bought screen protectors for my phone because i dropped my phone and the screen on it cracked and i also ordered a three pack of sketchbooks from martinezo <laughs> if you've watched my how to fill your sketchbook video where i talk about how i have a sketchbook problem well i've just added <laughs> three more problems to that problem it's fine i'm fine oh yeah i had to buy the stupid connector for apple because they're bringing a monopoly you know products do not come with headphone jacks and you have to buy these stupid tiny little ten dollar little shits and i had to buy that because i bought this mic that i don't know how to use yet which is why i'm holding it like this <laughs> You don't have to watch this video, really. Like, don't feel obligated. 
Hopefully this sounds good right now though, because if not, I'm gonna have to redo this whole thing. I also bought a oil diffuser. It is so pretty. And I bought it for my friend Zaya because I already have one, but it was Zaya's birthday this month. And so of course I went and I got to see her. Also look at this card that I made her. I think I'm really funny. I do, I think I'm really funny. <laughs> <laughs> Hanging out with Zaya means that we're eating good. So even though it was her birthday, she took me. The first thing she did was take me <laughs> to the Korean corn dog place that's like becoming really popular right now. Um, with like the either mozzarella cheese or hot dog inside, and you get like the awesome cheese pull. It was so long. You like it? Mm hmm. Well, it's not the light. It was the mm -hmm. cheese. Mm. Yeah, we did that. <laughs> we were actually on our way to Mississauga though to meet up with another girl named Christy. We were in the same program, the three of us. We all graduated at the same time, the Sockseye Ladies. And we had lunch at like this random sort of bar lounge place. Got the <laughs> letter truck. Yeah, it's a vlog. <laughs> <laughs> no, I need to put my hair back. <laughs> of course, no dinner is did I say lunch? Because we definitely had dinner. No dinner is complete without dessert. So we went to Krispy Kreme um, because there aren't a lot near me and I'm pretty sure not around them either. But there was one in Mississauga, so we went. Cheers! Cheers! Yay! We just sat in the car and we talked in the Krispy Kreme parking lot and it was just, it was so good for the soul. Um, and then we dropped Christy off home and by we, I mean Zaya because I don't drive, I'm just there. <laughs> and Christy lives right by our uni and it was just, it was so nostalgic. I am a nostalgia ho, okay? I get so in my feels. It was really strange to be back there, to smell the smells and to see all the students walking around. It just, it brought me back. And it also made me really sad because I had a really hard time in uni and I don't think I got to enjoy the energy of it all um, because I was too busy like being inside and being anxious and sad and, and we actually dropped by the university because I was trying to get my stuff for my office. So I got to see campus. It was kind of eerie. There was no one on campus walking around even, but it was not successful. I was trying to get into my office building and there was no, none of the doors were open anywhere, which sucks. I'll have to make that trip again sometime on my own, but it was still really nice to be on campus again, even if it was just for like 10 minutes. What else happened? Oh yeah, I had a COVID scare this month. <laughs> so I've developed a little bit of a dry cough. Here you go. <coughs> um, and I'm also just kind of feeling lethargic and I have a bit of a headache. I don't know, I feel strange. So I decided to go get tested just in case, even though I've been vaccinated twice. I mean, there's still the second variant going around and it's possible that that one time that I went out, I got it, I don't know. But it's better safe than sorry, just in case so that I don't go out and spread it more and stuff. Um, so I'm gonna go and get tested at a nearby assessment center. Woo! It would just, it would be just my luck. Anyways, I went there, I stood in line. I couldn't really take a lot of videos because it's kind of rude and also they tell you that you're not allowed to film the process. But some guy in line literally got so dizzy that he fell and I'm pretty sure it hit his head. And like, thank God there was some other dude in line too that reacted immediately because I just stood there frozen. I had no idea what to do, but he ran and he got a doctor and I think the guy ended up being okay, but um, he got taken out on a wheelchair. But the guy who went to ask for help ended up cutting me in line. And I tried to really not be salty about that because he actually did something when I couldn't, you know? But like, bro, the line was long. We were all waiting there. Like, why you do that? You clearly, and he like made eye contact with me several times, but he didn't want to move. And then he ended up taking a phone call and talking really loudly for like another 20 minutes. Um, so we stand, but we don't, we don't stand. <laughs> Basically, I don't, I didn't have COVID. I came back negative, but my cough, I promise I didn't do that on purpose. It's still here, um, and I think it might be some sort of allergy, uh, potentially to like the air conditioning or the air conditioning filter, because that's the only thing that is 
been different and my coughing started around the time that my dad switched the aircon filter so I don't know it's still here it's really weird and yes I do refuse to go to the doctor next <laughs> oh oh I forgot about the plants ooh, ooh, ooh. me and Zaya went to get plants yeah. uh, uh. yes I am this gross in person in fact probably grosser I am like a balloon I am a balloon and I must be able to deflate yeah Zaya and I stopped by a plant place um on the way to meet Christy, so I found um, this lady on Instagram um, that was selling plants and we went and she was so sweet. It was like in her backyard and she had so many different plants there and she was like so nice and so helpful. She was just explaining everything. It was really chill, but I, I ended up going with, with a thing of string of pearls. I've always wanted to have some. Um, and then Zaya got, I think the plant was called like a praying plant or praying hands I don't really remember um, but then both of us also got a bunch of eucalyptus which is really fun they're so fucking pretty and it like it just worked because my tattoo was already on and I was like look look at my tattoo <laughs> also the lady had some dogs there they were really just trying to get a piece of this ass okay like one of them tried to climb up on my booty Hey, hello. <laughs> hello, buddy. <laughs> Anyways, the lady told me that you could actually preserve eucalyptus if you wanted to last longer. So I googled that real quick, and I actually ended up doing it. I felt really cool. I felt like a plant mom. So yeah, now I have a bunch of eucalyptus chilling and I hope I did the preservation thing right. <laughs> we'll see, I don't know. Oh yeah, and aside from the eucalyptus, Zaya actually brought me a like snake plant seedling, I think, and I gave her a little Pelea seedling in return. Um, I repotted all of my Pelea pups from the previous vlog and so there's so many now. <laughs> And I feel like my space is slowly starting to get out of control, but I feel like out of control in terms of plants is exactly where I want to be. Uh, in terms of my aesthetic, you know, I just feel like a few more plants and I'm gonna have to start drilling into the walls. If you've made it this far into the video, clearly you just, you, ha you are a person of patience. So I'm gonna give you more. Why not? I ate a lot of yummy food this week. Ooh, no, this month, but also this week. A lot of berries. You guys wanna see the single most fancy breakfast plate I've ever prepared myself. Here it is. <laughs> We've got raspberries, blueberries, some grapes I cut in half, strawberries, um, I think that's papaya, um, yogurt with lana, and <laughs> a little like ear. That's what we call them well, in Romanian. It's an it's a ear pastry. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm about to eat, 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 and I'm trying to feast, feast, feast. <laughs> a lot of foods from my childhood, weirdly enough. This will probably gross some of you out, but this is jello soup. Yep. You make like a bone broth concentrated broth, <laughs> and then you put it in the fridge overnight and it turns into jello. Let me jiggle it. <laughs> Um, and it's really good. It's really cold and refreshing and um, very garlicky because East Europe doesn't have any other flavors. <laughs> I also had this thing called kvass, which is like a wheat drink. Like picture a beer, 
then take out all of the bitterness and all the alcohol and then just add a shit ton of sugar to it that's kind of what kvass is oh yeah and a lot of like these very basic ice creams these are the ice creams of my childhood it's literally just like vanilla ice cream with like a little bit of like nostalgia sprinkle on it and like the floppiest flimsiest cone that you can think of and i don't know why this shit tastes like magic to me it's so good i normally like prefer chunks and i don't know something some substance to my ice cream but this shit is just so good it's so simple it tastes like my childhood mm -hmm. chef's <laughs> and no vlog would be complete without juni she was a brat this month y'all oh my god <laughs> Okay, this is gonna be like end of video special right as i was sitting down to like make this video i noticed something from the corner of my eye like on my windowsill and it looked like it was outside my, my window was open so i was like oh it might be a squirrel but then i was like wait big brain moment i've never seen a squirrel come up to my window before so i take a second look and guess what it is you guys there's a goddamn mouse by my plans oh my god look at him he's so small he climbed up the wall because like i saw i suddenly saw something move from the corner of my eye and he had just like wait wait how did he wait wait how did he get from outside to inside there's no was he in my room what I'm removing all the plants so that I can try and help him out. I feel so bad. He's like on stilts. It's really hard to see, but there's like nothing in the middle. So he's just kind of, hi buddy. He's just kind of like trying to sit up. Hi, I'm sorry. I know I'm trying to get you out, but you can't stay here. My hands are shaking. You can't stay here. You want to look at this cute little painting though? As I'm, as I'm, here you go. This for you. It's pretty, right? Okay. <laughs> it was a mouse. It was a mouse. Um, quick context. A few days ago, Juni, pretty sure, we're pretty sure Juni brought on in a mouse. My dad installed one of those, like, permanent, like, doors for her to go in and out of. And before, she would bring mice into the backyard but now she's decided she really wants to take a proactive approach to making sure we're well fed so she brought one into the house and we tried to catch him and we couldn't and i'm pretty sure she brought one in again into my room i'm the favorite so of course you gotta feed me first um at night last night and this morning he was trying to escape oh my god the poor dude yeah we, we tried to catch him it didn't work well we lost him Somewhere under the bed, but I'm pretty sure I can't see him, so he's not there anymore. But yeah, that's what's that's that's what Junie's been up to this month, feeding us, giving us little heart attacks, making me feel really bad for mice. They're so cute. I just feel so bad. <sighs> She's behind me sleeping. I really just hate her ass sometimes. Anyways, thank you for watching. Up until this point, I don't even know if I'm allowed to like call these art vlogs because I barely show you uh. any art that I make, but I guess I just do whatever I want. Cause you can do whatever you want when you're making shit for free. Bye. <laughs>